Keep calm and hold on. It's CryptoRocko here guys and in today's video we're going to talk about Bitcoin and crypto major cryptocurrency price prediction for this month and up to the whole year guys and we're going to use Tom Lee's interview on CNBC that he's done to make our prediction and we'll say whether keep calm and hold on is the best strategy for us. So the video that I wanted to show you is keep calm and hold on. <laughs> I just wanted to start off with that bit guys because it's great to see um, CNBC and uh, such a major network talking in our terminology. The Bitcoin and cryptocurrency fever is truly spreading to the world. It's brilliant to see that, guys. But before I get into this video, guys, I'd just like to uh, tell you guys, um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. It means a lot to me and it helps me bring the best cryptocurrency content to you guys. I do technical analysis, um, coin predictions, price predictions and bring you the latest news to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency money. I also do some trading signals as well like I've done for ontology in the past, um, um, ICX, 0x, uh, Litecoin, EOS. I've, I've done a lot of uh, trading signals as well on my twitter and instagram so follow me on those places or just follow me on youtube guys to to stay up to date with the latest news and i've done i do a lot of like giveaways as well and um, i've done a previous like giveaway a uh, half a like giveaway so if you want to win half a like guys please scroll down subscribe to my channel and leave your like addresses not your bitcoin address your like address to win half a like guys so thank you very much if you've already subscribed and left your like addresses and i will see you guys soon with another giveaway so without further ado let's get into this video this is the key bit i wanted to show you guys if you take out the 10 best days for bitcoin every year based on percentage change bitcoin's fallen 25 percent a year so this is the key bit i wanted to show you guys so if you if you hold if you held bitcoin but you you didn't hold bitcoin in those key 10 days guys you hope you would be down 25 percent how crazy is that guys so bitcoin goes up in uh, spikes of days so if you didn't huddle in those 10 days you wouldn't have made any money in bitcoin so some people try and time the market and i i trade sometimes i mean i'm, I'm a hodler but i've traded forex and stocks before so i sometimes try and you know sell at the high buy it buy back at the low and and try to catch breakout trades for old coins and i try to trade but sometimes i don't get it i don't get it right so for bitcoin I didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch, I didn't buy at the bottom. I had to buy it around half, uh, nine, nine thousand, half, nine thousand four hundred around there. Mark, I'm still up now, but I'm not up as much. And I only went in a little bit because I didn't want to FOMO in because that's a really bad thing to do in trading. You need to have entry points and exit points and your strategy in place. So I did kind of FOMO in, half FOMO in. I went in a little bit, but just tried to dip my toes because I didn't want to miss it if it went up. So that's the thing. If you try to always time the market, you might not end up timing the market and you, you might miss those massive gains so the best strategy for most people is to just keep calm and hold on and 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 if this chart doesn't make you believe in keep coming hold on um i'm not sure what will but if tom lee a really experienced and respectable guy in, in the wall street is saying about bitcoin it, it is something that we should take uh, take seriously but definitely do your own research and don't just follow this advice or any other advice Bitcoin is a great store value it works really well so again why why Bitcoin why should we invest in Bitcoin because there's a lot of uh, news coming out that you know Bitcoin is getting old and then people are trying to buy altcoins and not buying Bitcoin at all but Bitcoin is still king it's a great store of value and I think people everyone should be hodling Bitcoin you should definitely be invested in Bitcoin it's kind of boring because it's not because you know bitcoin is going boring now because there are other faster coins there's this great marketing great charismatic leaders but bitcoin is still king guys and i hope you all are holding holding bitcoin and, and diversify because bitcoin at the end of the day is still king if you look at how the market works guys when bitcoin goes up all the old coins goes up massively but if bitcoin consolidates rest of the coins consolidates a lot more so make sure you're invested in bitcoin guys again do your own research and do your this is just my views and my my thoughts although i'm experienced in the financial markets forex and stocks this is just my opinion guys do your own research and make up your own mind but my advice would be that you should you should have some bitcoin uh, even if you don't even if you like other coins you invested in it make sure that you are diversified diversified because bitcoin still is the king of cryptocurrency 
you know, we still think Bitcoin's in a bull market. So I. So there's a lot of questions that Bitcoin. I mean, I myself is quite conservative. I haven't bought in massively because I I think that Bitcoin might go down further. Um, but bit, it's good to hear Tom Lee. He probably doesn't share what I what I'm sharing. He thinks that Bitcoin is still in a bull market, and the the reason why he's thinking that is there's not been bad news like in January, February when it crashed massively. There was a lot of bad news coming out. People were scared. People were taking profit. Now. Now the market is a lot more stable there's a lot of good news coming out the good old predictions are coming out of massive 100k bitcoin 50k bitcoin a million bitcoin so we're, we're in a bull run I'm, i still think there might be a little bit of a dip for hopefully i could buy and i've started to buy in already hopefully there'll be a, a slightly dip not a dip to like five thousand. i don't think I mean, it might happen it's just my thoughts guys i'm just speculating and then using my experience again do your own research in this chance for what bitcoin's consolidating and they're seeing the case for it as a real store value. So he's just talking about that. He's, 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 like I've said, Tom Lee is very well respected and he's in, he's been in the Wall Street. People respect him. And he's been talking to a lot of big investors and they're saying that they're thinking about going into Bitcoin. And this kind of consolidation is allowing people to learn about Bitcoin and hopefully more people will come in. I've done loads of videos on George Soros and Rockefeller people coming into Bitcoin. I've, I've done a... a video on George Soros and his theory of reflexivity that you can use to make money. Um, in those videos, I tried, I tried to say institutional money, Wall Street money coming in will help Bitcoin go on that bull run. And Tom Lee is saying that as well. So it's good to hear someone, not just a random YouTuber, Crypto Rocco, saying it's good to see Tom Lee talking about big investors, Wall Street investors and big whales are coming in with their big money, which will ultimately help Bitcoin go on that bull run. Timing, because it, it doesn't force investors to jump in and, and then... So he just talks about that timing thing that we mentioned before. Like when you try and time Bitcoin, you might get it wrong and then it might not give you the best best value. So it's best to kind of learn from it and then do it like just just kind of get, get in at a good price and hold on. Final bit I'd like to show you guys. Last quick question right here, right now. So this is the final question. They'll ask uh, Tom Lee whether he thinks, well, let's play the video. Fresh money into Bitcoin or the S&P 500? What do you guys think his answer is? Um, if it's between now and year end, da, 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 da. Yes. Uh, it's easily Bitcoin. Right. Does it not sound good to hear that, guys? Someone such so experienced in Wall Street saying he'd invest in Bitcoin currently over other uh, over crypto over sorry S and P and stock market. So that's a, that's a quick video, guys. The main essence that I wanted to share share with you guys is keep calm and hold on. Don't if you're not experienced trader, don't try and trade. I mean, I, I've made bad trades as well. Although I've, some of my trade, most of my some of the I'll share what I trade and and some a lot of them have come correct but I make mistakes as well I didn't catch 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 this trade you can't catch all the trades guys you'll miss some but if you're not an experienced trader if you haven't got the time to learn it and invest in it um, and invest all the time in it I'll just say guys keep calm and hold on like Charlie Lee said and that might be a good strategy for you because the predictions for Bitcoin are really bullish and um, technical analysis guys I don't like doing tech I like to keep it um, easy to understand I don't want to get into all the details of technical analysis but this this uh, this chart is showing that you know Bitcoin is broken up and it could potentially see that ten thousand mark for a temporary stop before it pulls back or it decides what to do. So that's kind of the technical analysis of it. It's broken down that that triangle. Um, if you if diamond a down diamond formation, if you don't know what it is, um, I, I like to keep this video quite easy to adopt. So because a lot of my viewers are probably not technical analysis. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, I will share it because I don't like sharing technical analysis in case people lose money using my analysis. I, I really want to keep it basic simple to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency money so the market i see you guys the market's probably waiting for bitcoin now because bitcoin has gone on a rally other a lot of money is going into bitcoin and people are taking profits like ontology people are taking profits of ontology um one of my one of my favorite coins icx is not doing as well litecoin is a coin that's gone up massively as well i think it's beaten bitcoin uh, for the price increase this is another uh, trade that i missed out on um, i went in a bit, little bit later so i've still i've still got some gains but not as massively and if you guys uh, subscribe to my channel i'll be doing a really good litecoin video um, in the coming days uh, i'll go into a lo lot of detail why i like like litecoin and what could be the price prediction for litecoin so if you want to if you're a fan of litecoin make sure you subscribe Subscribe to my channel and also I'll be doing half a like coin giveaway. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. 
and let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think Bitcoin will go up massively? Will it dip? What's your price prediction? Leave your price prediction for Bitcoin below. Just a one, one word, what your price prediction is. And also, if you're subscribed to my channel, leave your Litecoin address to win half a Litecoin when I do my next half a Litecoin giveaway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Um, and smash that like button. Share it with your friends and family on Facebook, Twitter, um, just word of mouth, guys, and subscribe to my channel. And finally, guys, keep calm and hold on.